you take change. Ah, oh, cheap little bitch. It's a, it's a film really following the phenomena of the fag hag. The, um, the girls that find themselves drawn to hang out with the gay community. Zeus, you beast! Oh, look at ya! Oh, I love it when you tease me. Well, Zeus is a character who obviously didn't fit in in whatever community he grew up in. He then moved to New York and found that he was accepted and loved and, and fit into a community found that he could, you know, do a job where he basically just danced around in his underpants on a bar. And be given a lot of attention and adoration and, and uh, you know, the reason why I think I was cast in this role is because I'm notorious for being all over YouTube, dancing at all the, the gay bars myself, and I have a big gay following. And um, so, and for some reason, a lot of women, fag hags, that are pretty, go to these clubs because they don't want to be bothered by that straight energy being hit on and uh, they just have a, a higher happier frequency and I find myself personally when I'm dancing at the gay clubs totally attracted to the fag guys. Come here, come here. Hey Violet! Hey! Hey come here! Hey where are you going? You're kidding, kidding, kidding. Hey stop! Where are you going so fast? Ooh. Mindy's a blast. She's a uh, Mindy is, she's always chipper. Even when she's grouchy, she tells you, I'm grouchy today. And she's funny while well, she's grouchy. When I first saw Jesse walk down the stairs the first day, I was like, okay, he, he's one of the lead characters because I didn't know who he was gonna play, I just knew. He has this exuberance of like this 10 year old kid that just pops in, he stands bow upright, you know, like this. And he's got this energy, almost like a happy puppet. And, uh, he has one of those mouths that will say exactly what he's thinking without censoring it. That's why he's been nicknamed Captain Inappropriately. And uh, he's, he's not cruel, but he'll just state the truth, even if someone's up to something they shouldn't be. So I find him delightful, adorable, very kind, very intelligent, very quick and witty. And you know, I love him. He's a great, he's a great guy. It's been fun working with him. Casper is, you know, a real delight. I've definitely found, you know, several people that I would love to work again with because Casper and, uh, especially Casper and Jesse, have this zen-like, happy approach to all of the, the hullapalava that goes on with filming. And most of the time when you are filming, you know, you're going against schedule, budget, time, it's, it's a tough thing, and uh, a lot of people you know, fall victim to the pressure, and then begin yelling at people and getting upset and rude and distressed, and you see them, you know, <laughs> and then they're nasty. Uh, not on this set. This set has been so high frequency, full of delight, polite energy. If you're interested in intelligence and sensitivity and happiness, and peace and love and harmony, and all those frequencies vibrate for you. That's something you want in your life? Watch this film.